Welcome back everyone. Having high blood pressure called hypertension is the biggest risk for disability, dementia later in life and early death all around the world. And in the U.S. almost half of adults have it and they do not manage it. Hypertension is also associated with the higher incident, of course, of heart attack and stroke, the number one killer for both men and women. Now, if you're concerned about or trying to manage your blood pressure, you probably measure it at home. But how do you know that reading is coming up correct? When it comes to taking your blood pressure, there are many rules. You should be um, not only not talking for five minutes before checking blood pressure, but also within half hour, no smoking, no exercising, and um, no caffeine. All of those actions can make your blood pressure reading higher than it actually is, which can cause doctors to overprescribe medications and then cause low blood pressure. Another disrupting factor... I remember 30 years ago when I was a resident, um, there was a patient keep having very fast heart rate and blood pressure and his quadriplegic and we had no idea until we found out that we should empty the bladder for him and the blood pressure and heart rate is perfect. A full bladder causes high stress levels, raising blood pressure. You also need to be in the right position. When their feet should be flat on the ground and back supported with a chair and the, if it's using arm cuff, the arm should be at the level of right atrium, which is in the middle of the sternum. An arm in the lap increased blood pressure readings by 3.9 over 4. And a dangling arm was even higher. Finally, don't take your blood pressure too many times in one sitting. The blood pressure cuff can stimulate the vascular resistance and you can get higher and higher blood pressure readings. And accurate readings mean accurate treatments. So when you are checking your blood pressure at home, you need to consider cuff size. A cuff too small can create false high blood pressure readings, and a cuff too big can do the opposite, low blood pressure. And don't discount those high readings in the office as white coat hypertension when you typically have low readings at home. The doctor points out that that might be a sign of future high blood pressure, so keep on checking.